Hello, what's up good people? Good to see you once again. Now, let's say you have your 100,000 and you want to invest in either of these three things. Number one, the circles. Number two is about the money market fund or the treasury bonds. Now, let's exactly talk about numbers. What exactly do you actually earn or how much do they pay you? Today, I'm going to share with you exactly if you invest 100,000 on circles, how much do you earn? And if you invest on a money market fund with that 100,000, how much do you earn? Or if maybe you decide to go ahead and invest in what we call the treasury bonds how much do you make because a lot of people tend to ask me uh like exactly joseph would you mind if you share with us the exact numbers i make if i invest like a hundred thousand or something of sort all right i just picked a hundred thousand as a random number you can just use the hundred thousand to actually multiply or do the mathematics and get exactly how much you will make if you want to invest let's say like your fifty thousand actually that's the minimum if you want to invest like into what we call uh you know like a million two million three million or something of sort so exactly that's what i'm gonna talk to you today so that you'll be able to understand all the numbers because at all the occasions, don't forget that numbers don't lie. And again, statistics are telling me some of the guys are watching my videos are actually not subscribed. Take one second. By the way, it is free. It doesn't cost you anything. And what's the importance? Any moment I upload a new good video, you'll be notified by the YouTube that Good Joseph has uploaded a new good video. This is what I want you to do. It doesn't cost you time, only one second. And I bet you got it. Just down below there on your right, there is a button written subscribe. Hit that button. Then on your left, there is a like button. Hit those two magical button and turn that notification bell. So you'll be the first one to be notified. And again, guess what? That really helps this channel. It's like buying me a cup of coffee. And I bet... Yeah, why, what's the problem with that? Anyway, let's get to today's business. So, you have your 100K, you want to invest in either of those three things that I've just said. Let me just echo what I've said. The circles, the money market fund, or the treasury bills, or rather treasury bonds. Now, what exactly do you get as your returns, all right? Let's start with the circles. I know this one is quite popular, a lot of people know it, and... Uh, People, a lot of people have actually started that, you know, investing in those kind of things, all right? So what exactly do you expect to make when you invest your 100,000 into circles or, uh, or something of sort? Uh, and for you to get started with the circle, it's not a complicated thing. It's just you showing up to that specific circle that is your interest and then show up your, what we call the ID, the passport size, and of course your KRA pin and uh, the minimum registration amount. It depends on the circle. It's actually, actually ranges from like 2,500 or like from a thousand bob to like three thousand five hundred or something of sort so with the circle it's actually a societal people come together and make up a thing something like you know a target of maybe getting a loan or something so if you take your hundred thousand and direct it towards a circle in most cases circles they usually reveal the amount of percentage they usually give you at the end of the year let's take an example of uh steamer circle i think as of now they are paying 14 percent of whatever you invest out there let's say you have a portfolio of a hundred thousand inside a specific circle so 14 percent of 100,000 is 14,000. So that is the amount of money that you'll get at the end of the year when they are paying their dividends. Now, this is what happens. Now, that 14,000 you've gotten as your interest, it's subjected to what we call the withholding tax, which is 15% in Kenya, meaning that you have to pay the government 15% of that 14,000. That's like around, you know, that's like almost to 2,000 around there. So it's 14,000 minus 2,000 and that 12,000 is what you get at the end of the year as your total net income in terms of the dividends or the profit in the amount of money that you've invested. Starting getting yourself into circles is not a complicated thing. Just like I said, show up to a circle either physically or you can do so online. Any circle of your choice, provided the circle that you want to join has what we call the regulation by the SASRA. And that's a body that regulates all the circles. And again, have yourself a circle that actually has a good reputation, has been known to be paying dividends in time. And of course, has what we call like a friendly sort of a thing. And one thing that you're supposed to understand with you investing in a circle is that your money is not accessible easily. That's for a fact. Your money is not accessible easily. That means that if you'd like to terminate the operations in that given circle, you have to notify them. Some of them talk of two months' time. You notify them that in two months' time, you're going to suspend or rather you're going to terminate all your operation with the circle. Then from that, you sell your shares. That means that there must be a willing buyer for you to dispose your shares. So that, the, you know, the, the reason that's why they do so, they never love or they never wish to, you know, let that money just disappear like that. If actually they were to do exactly that then some of the circles that you have would be in existence so you have to sell your shares basically it's like you you have to give them back the shares that they gave you and then they give you back the money that you invested or you've been investing 
all right so that's kind of the complicated part with circles that actually people find it not so easy for them to liquidate or get the money easily you know if you're this kind of a person who would like to show up on the door and say you know what guys i would like to get my money up so i've seen an opportunity somewhere it's not a thing that you can do so unless you plan according to the time the time allowance that they have given you all right but the advantages is that you are not able to misuse your money and another big advantage of course if you're this kind of a person who is aiming to get a loan that is a good way you can go ahead and invest in that given circle and does not matter where you come from maybe business you are let's say you're outside the country perhaps you're working somewhere in gaps in uk united whatever the place you're outside the, the country you can be able to get started it's actually a way of actually saving your money and once you come back here you can terminate the operations and get your liquid cash invest on the areas that you would like to do so now we go to the second point that is the money market fund on the money market fund again it's quite a good thing it's easy to start does not need any complications and what have you just showing up to your phone and pick that company of your choice that you'd like to get started then again you can be able to go ahead and surrender all your particulars there that is the uh, you, there is a form that you'll be given for you to fill in of course you fill in your particulars then need there is a section where i need to upload your kra pin you need your id and of course some of them ask for a passport size that's a picture of you so that at least they can be able to align that into creating you an account and then after that of course they'd give you a payment method if you're outside the country then they'd be able to give you that payment method as well and if you're in kenya and by the way you can just do it through using your mpesa you can just wire your money are from the bank to that given specific a company a money market fund for your information for those who have never watched my video although i have a full video dedicated for money market fund a money market fund it's actually an, uh, an investment scheme whereby a fund manager usually the company pulls resources from different investors or individuals take that money goes and invests in an area whereby it's a risk I don't want to say risk free but again what we call up way minimized risks like the treasury bills like what we call the commercial paper like things we call the the fixed deposit and something of sort so Market, money market fund you can start with as low as 100 bob but now we are talking of 100k so you take your 100k and invest in a money market fund how much do you expect to get in return so with a money market fund the much you expect to get in return it depends on the percentage that that given company is giving you most of the companies in kenya as of now uh, before the corona they used to give more than 10 percent but as of now they're actually sub 10 meaning they're below 10 and i bet the best that we have as of now is 9.8 percent uh, you can check out which one is it anyway i'm not advertising any of those companies uh, but i'm just gonna give you the random name so that at least you may give you may have the foundation of exactly what i'm talking about so they are giving like 9.8 percent others about 9.6 others 9.5 or something of sort so these companies for you to get started again is not a complicated issue all what you need to have is your id your kra pin I bet you've seen like KRA pin is appearing all over the place. Now so that means that you have to pay taxes, all right? So uh, you need to have your KRA pin, you need to have your ID, you need to fill a form that they will send you again. And of course, they you have to have a passport side. Some ask, some don't. So it depends on which company that you actually pick again to get started with, all right? So, and for that, of course, they always stipulate or make it public that this is the amount of percentage that they usually give so say they give you 9.8 percent so that means that if you put your 100 g's out there in a period of one year they'll give you 9,800, assuming that there were no taxes but again here comes we have to pay the taxes now for that matter then 15 percent of 9,800 is like do the mathematics like 2k again or something or close to that all right say like for simple mathematics say it's like 2000 so it's 9 9800 minus 2000 that gives you 7800 around there all right so that's the amount of money that you get as the amount of money or rather as the dividend at the end of the year now this is the most amazing thing about the money market fund and that's why i love it uh number one you realize that it has what we call the compounding effect what does that mean you have your hundred thousand as the initial capital the principal amount they give you an interest of seven thousand eight hundred well of course after the 15 percent of the government now what happened the next time if you were to plow back that entire money without you withdrawing it is that they'll now subject the 107 and 107,800 to the percentage of 9.8 percent 
the man is it man thing i'm saying like okay you got your 7800 at the end of the year now you take that 7800 assuming that you never withdrew your money plus the principal amount that you had now becomes 107800 now that now functions as a principal amount which will be subjected to 9.8% as the dividend so that means that the amount of money that you get is usually higher compared to the previous or the current year. That's what it goes and that's what we call when it comes to wealth creation. Compounding effect is the most important thing when you're creating wealth. Because I always tell you, wealth is never an event. It's always a process. And that's the thing that you're supposed to understand at all the occasion. Okay? Now, uh, about the money market fund, the quite an amazing thing about it is that you can be able to withdraw your money any moment you want, actually on a click of a button within an hour or two, let's say a day or two you get your money uh, immediately to your wallet and so that you can be able let's say you got an opportunity out there then you can pick your money you can liquidate your shares sort of shares and then get your money and get you can do something else again what you've seen there is that they don't give an amazing percentages but again you accessing your money is quite friendly and that's the most amazing thing when it comes to the money market fund uh, look at money market fund on this perspective look it at the point of it's actually a good way of saving your money at the same time it's actually a good way of investing your money by the way if you guys you can realize how much our country usually get in terms of percentages is quite an amazing if you go to countries like america like the quote-unquote first world those countries you find that they give the lowest percentage like four percent three percent okay but in kenya we are talking about nine percent that's quite an amazing thing for example if you talk about treasury bonds in in, in america you find that they give the like the lowest like recently i think they were talking about 5.5 percent and that was after an increment that's why you see the dollar was actually uh, you know hitting like shilly shilling in a very high rate so you realize that they are giving five percent but in kenya they are giving you 14 percent 14 percent that's quite amazing but again i understand it's because we are still a developing country the government needs money to build infrastructures and what have you anyway now i'm actually starting to introduce you to the last one but not the least now we go to the treasury bonds now when you talk about treasury bonds, it's not a bit simpler for you to get started because you need what we call the CBK CDS account. Basically means that you need that account for you to be able to hold your bonds. That's where your bonds stays. Simple, uh, simple analogy or simple example is that the way you usually go to a bank and open a bank account to put your money out there. You cannot be able to put your bonds on a, a bank account. All what you need is a CBK regulated CDS account, Central Depository System or something, all right? So for you to have that specific account, you have to show up physically as of now to the CBK for you to open a CDS account. Recently, I had the governor of the CBK, Patrick Njoroge, was talking of uh, making it easier for anybody to actually open that CDS account on the mobile phone. I don't know whether that thing has been actualized, but we are yet to see that. So for you to be able to get started with treasury bonds, you have to get a CDS account. Okay, forget about the entire process. You can check my previous video about the treasury bonds on how you can get started. Now, you have 100,000, that's why you're here. You have 100,000 you put on the treasury bonds. Recently, I will refer to the uh, the current bond that you have or the previous the immediate previous bond that we had. Uh, it was an infrastructure bond, usually called an IBF, an infrastructure bond that was going for the 17 years. And again, that IBF was actually being uh, okay. Fine, the IBF usually pays semi annually, meaning after six months in a period of the next 17 years. And they were giving a percentage. Listen, to this 14.399 percent. Okay, that's basically like 14.4 percent. That means that if you put a hundred thousand out there, you'll get what we call the 14,400. And guess what? This is the the spicing on it is that it is tax free, there is no deduction of the 15 percent. Quite an amazing thing, actually. Right? So, if you put your money out there, you subjected you a 14.33. 14.399% 14, for your money. And then that money is tax free and you're getting that kind of an interest throughout the fifth, uh, rather throughout the bond period of which is 17 good years. Okay. Bonding is actually a lengthy way of investing, but it's an amazing thing if you think about it. Anyway, so if you are out there, you're a bit confused, you do not even know how to get started with all those bonds with about treasury bills and what have you. Guess what has good Joseph? I always make it simpler for you. I have a booklet about treasury bonds, treasury bills, and you can grab them a copy. It's only 440. And by the way, if you are there, you still want to invest in conventional ways. Yeah, I have business plans, booklets, I have business ideas, booklets, you can get them as well. And by the way, if you still want to get started with circles 
I have you covered as well. I have a booklet about the top nine best circles, how, how you can join, how much they require for you to do so, the minimum deposit, the interest, the dividends, and what have you. All those things I've actually covered with them. How do you get all those booklets actually? Down below there on the description of this specific video, I've pinned my number out there. But grab it, text me on WhatsApp, tell me the copy that you want. And again, let's talk business. If you're out there, you would like to get my service as far as the writing business plans or proposals, I do that off business consultation. You can give me a call using the same number. So for now, it's a goodbye and make sure that you see me in the next video. And don't forget, 